Hello, hello. This is Gibbo Ireland again, hoping this video finds you safe and well. Welcome to an introduction to the excellent Sim Toolkit Pro. Sim Toolkit Pro is an electronic flight bag, which is a great companion for flight planning, management, tracking and logging, as well as having some great features uh, that help you while simming. It's free and supports all the major uh, flight sim applications. Uh, flight Sim 2020 I'll be concentrating on here. So to install, visit simtoolkitpro.co.uk, clicking download at the top and going through the installation. You will need to register as you go through this process and the reason for that is that it actually can save for you all your flight information. Also, I'd recommend you take a look at Simbrief and create a free account there too. Reason being that Simbrief really works hand in hand with Sim Toolkit Pro to maximize your experience. And we'll show that more in a moment. So here we are in Sim Toolkit Pro. What you see here on screen is the number of pilots that are on the network at the moment. You can actually hover over them and see where they're at and what they're doing. And we've got the main menu on the left as well as tabs here in the bottom right. These tabs are highly customizable and you can actually set them up to be anything that you wish. Here I've got the two Tom Murphy YouTube, one click away. I've got charts, I've got sky vector, and I've got Navigraph all at the click of a mouse. It's highly customizable, as I said, whereby you can literally set up anything you wish. So you've got everything in one place. Pretty cool. Also here in the bottom right, is a NOTAM, METAR and TAF information. So if I pop in an ICAO for our location, I'll go for Shannon. I can see the NOTAM for Shannon here. Excellent information. I can also see the METARs on TAF for, for weather. Okay, so moving on to the main menu, we've got live map, which we'll absolutely take a look at in flight. Uh, we've got streaming, which we'll absolutely take a look at in flight and we've got flight tools and flight planning. So take a look at flight planning in a moment. Let's jump into flight tools. So here I can pop in the location or name of anywhere I like. Let's go ahead and take a look at skip all. If I can type it, okay. So here I can see exactly the information for skip all airport in Amsterdam. I can see the number of runways, its elevation, I can see all its frequencies, again, super, super helpful. It's approach, departure, ground, tower frequencies, all there. And then I've got information on the runways itself. So I can see ILS frequencies, really, really helpful. Uh, runway length, et cetera, et cetera. Pretty cool. Clicking on checklists next, there's a list of aircraft that it has built in a checklist for, which is, again, super handy. Um, and if you, if you don't see the one that you like, you can click add to, to add more. Okay, so we'll move on next to flight planning. So to create a flight plan, this is really where you get into some of the cool things that Sim Toolkit Pro has to offer. Click on create a new plan and you can go as, as easy or as detailed as you wish here. So I'm going to go for a flight from Dublin to, let's say, Shannon. I'm going to add an aircraft, so I can add uh, any aircraft I like. I'm going to go for TBM, and I'll pop in a, an airline code. I will go for British Airways. The reason you have to pop that in is because you can actually link this to online SIM tools, such as uh, VATSIM. So I'm happy with that information. On the right hand side, which I'm not going to go through now, but what you'll see is I can go really, really specific in terms of some of the finer details of my flight plan. So because I've chosen Dublin, as you'll see here, it actually lists for me automatically the runways at Dublin that I wish to depart from. And same at, at arrival in Shannon. Pretty awesome. Okay, so it looks fairly basic, but I'm happy with that. I'm going to click generate plan. All set, it's green now. Click generate plan. And here's where it connects to Simbrief that we set up earlier. So I'll just quickly log in. So here's my flight plan. So you can see here, I can zoom in and see exactly where I'm going. 
and also each waypoint along the way. So if I hover over this particular one, actually I click here, I can change any of the stars, SIDs, waypoints, transitions that I wish, and I can see exactly where it's going to bring me. Very, very cool. Okay, so as I said before, uh, I'll be flying off the network, but you can connect it to VATSIM and other uh, uh, online services. You can pre-file it as well. And what I'm going to do is click export. And export it as flight sim. I'm going to click save. Now I just click fly now and here's my flight summary. But no where I'm taking off from, the length, slope, etc. My load information, radio frequencies, etc. All here. Here's my operational flight plan on the right. My dispatcher name and everything. But check this out. Click on charts. We've aerodrome charts, altitude charts, terrain charts, instrument approach charts, visual approach charts, parking charts. That's a lot of charts in one sentence. <laughs> Pretty awesome and hugely helpful. So just before we move into the sim, here Sim Toolkit Pro has some advanced mapping features showing online ATC coverage and other network traffic for all major networks such as VATSIM, Pilot Edge, FS Cloud and, and more. Let's export our plan and move on to the sim. We'll move into the cockpit and while getting our pushback, we'll have a quick move over and zoom in on our live map to check the altitudes en route for various waypoints. And check out the taxiway details. No more getting lost in some of those larger airports, folks. Okay, so we've just taken off and we're doing our right turn towards Shannon. And we can check in now on our flight progress. I can change my map type to easily see where I am passing Dundrum right now. Wow. So now we're en route. Let me show you some of the streaming overlays. Under streaming overlays, you're given a URL here, which if you pop into OBS or Streamlabs OBS, it will show on top of your screen as an overlay. It's customizable about what stats you wish to show or even the styling that you wish to use. To be clear though, you won't see this on your own screen. This is only shown if you're recording or you're streaming with OBS. And there's more. Using the same procedure, you can actually add an overlay of your map too, which might be handy for your viewers to see exactly where you are. So checking in on our progress through the magic of editing, we're closing in on Shannon. I don't know about you, but zooming in on those VO4 maps in Flight Sim 2020 can be a bit frustrating. So here I can see exactly where the runway is and those taxiways. Here I am coming in for a landing, which for your benefit, uh, I will mess up on purpose, honestly. <laughs> Keep an eye out for my touchdown point. So it's definitely left of the center line and just after the 500 foot marker. We'll park up, turn on our brakes. Moving one last time back to SimToolkit Pro. Our flight has been auto completed and is listed in my logbook. I can see where and when I flew my landing feet per minute, my landing speed, any comments on the flight I wish to add. I can even see that touchdown point uh, and even what heading I had versus what I should have had, etc. Very, very cool. So that's it folks for this slightly longer than normal video. Um, SimTilco Pro for me, it's going to be my go-to companion for simming. It really is. It, it helps complement Flight Sim 2020 with everything being in one place, as well as adding some handy additional features. Uh, and the flight tracking and reporting, I really think will make it easier to pinpoint exactly where to improve uh, on your arrivals. 
So my thanks as always to Murph for letting me contribute to the channel. And don't forget, if you like this kind of content, please do consider subscribing. Till next time, folks, take care.